Good sign. No, I'm just letting, uh -oh. I'm letting you get prepared. I was just letting you get prepared. Go ahead and get go ahead and get your. Uh, it's great because when I'm talking, you guys are head your heads are down like this. Good morning, Jeff. Um, I'm optimistic that he'll play. We're going to get through today again. Uh, he's had a great week of uh, of practice. Um, you know, he's been limited on the injury report all week, so we'll get through today and tomorrow, and uh, we're optimistic that he can uh, he can play. If he goes, will he be full go, or will we have to kind of manage him back into game action? Yeah, I mean, it, it's something we'll have to sort of monitor, um, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, as we've always said, too, the guys that uh, that dress, you know, um, will play. So we'll, we'll see. Is Timmy Durgan in a similar situation? Similar situation. Uh, he's, in that, he's in that same uh, same boat. He's had a good week of preparation, good week of practice. So, um, again, get through today. Another another good good day today, and we'll see where he's at. Who won't play? Oh, I'm not going to say that just yet. Let's see. Uh, Jason Peters, Nigel are two that obviously right now uh, won't play. Um, everybody else has a has a legitimate shot. Yeah. Does Avante step right back to the spot? Uh, yes. Yeah, he, he's had another good week of, of prep. He's actually practiced now the last you know, week and a half. So, yeah, he's been doing really well. Sproles, Sproles is in that same. That's the other one with Timmy and, and Deshaun. Yeah, get through get through these next two days. Jordan Howard obviously is playing against his former team. Uh, there can be some emotion behind that. What have you seen from him this week? Um, I've seen the guy each you know each week's been focused, and, and this is really hasn't been been any different for him. The way he's gone about his business, the way he's prepared. Um, you know, he's had a good week of, of practice, and uh, I know he'll be he'll be excited. You know, see some of his teammates and, and friends, and and uh, you know. But at the same time, once it's once it's teed up, you know, it's football, and uh, um, but he'll be ready. In this setting last week, you were saying Sharif Miller just just can't really get on the field because of the depth chart there. At the end, now you add Avery, you have seven minutes. How do you see that group kind of um, getting their, their playing time split up? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, obviously it's a challenge, you know, to get them all on the field. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good group. It's a deep group. You know, Sharif is still learning, and, and he's getting a lot of a lot of reps. Not only, you know, with with the practice squad guys or the service team guys uh, during practice, but uh, you know, he's still learning. He's learning, you know, the game. He's learning the defense, um, and 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 so you know, um, it's it, it's tough. I mean, it's yeah. Oh, for Avery? Yeah. yeah so I mean, so you know, Avery. I, I think anytime you. Uh, you know, you make a you make a move like that for a player. You got to try to find a you know a spot to, to get him on the field and and uh, incorporate him into your whether it's offense. You know, last year with Golden Tate and obviously this year with with uh, you know Avery. Um, but uh, you know, he, he's worked in, he's practiced this week, and and uh, we'll find a role for him. Hey, Doug, you saw Chicago obviously back in January, but there was a change of coordinator. Um, it's you know the the personnel is is similar, um, same same guys you know minus a couple, but in the structure uh, is 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 relatively the same. Uh, there are some you know some Chuck Pagano you know tweaks with this defense. This, this defense is um, this defense plays fast. They play hard. They they got they got a great front four. Uh, I feel like again this secondary is another good test for our receivers. Um, but you know and, and it's a it's one of those defenses where, you know, they're not necessarily going to show you a lot of things or do a lot of things because they are so good and they just uh, they just want to line up and, and play football. And uh, um, it's a uh, it's a really good test for us. Yeah, I would I would expect that uh, in this game. We're anticipating that. You know, uh, they do move him. Around you know on both edges and also inside uh, is something that you know is a little a little different with them. Uh, just trying to utilize his strengths, you know, as a pass rusher. But you know, Andre uh, has played well the last two games. Uh, this will be probably the uh, the biggest challenge, you know, and the biggest test for him, you know, in his young career. But uh, he's you know he's had a great week. He he prepares. He studies the tape, and uh, he'll be he'll be ready. Is it fair to say that they usually leave your tackles out? On the Well, without giving our game plan away, um, 
I think in, in general, yeah, most tackles typically do play on an island. Um, the way protection schemes are, you know, four-man slides one way or the other away from the tackle typically. Um, and, and so we ask, we ask a lot of our guys. That's why we have a Jason Peters, you know, uh, Pro Bowl left tackle. And you got Lane over there. Big V's played and, and has played well there. And, and Andre's played well. And so they know that. They know they're going to be on an island. But sometimes, too, you get into game plan weeks and it, it could change. You know, um, and then it's, it's it's all of it's all about respect on who's on that side of the ball. You know, and, and these guys, the Bears have, you know, two three really good edge rushers, and and we got to account for them. And and knowing where 52 is, you have to t sometimes take resources and put a back over there, put a you know a tight end over there, um, and they know that. So you know they uh, uh, defensively can change up their scheme to anticipate that kind of thing. I was just wondering what the benefits of that are. But what does that free up for you when you have guys that are – If they can go just one-on-one -on -one out there? Yeah, I mean, it just seems like a general philosophy for you. Yeah, I mean, if, if you can just say, hey, tackle, go handle the defensive end and, and we're okay, um, obviously you can have more people in your, in your route. You know, in your, in, your, in your passing concepts, and that's that's a benefit there. It gives your quarterback a few more options. Uh, you know, if you don't have that capability, then – now you're now you're down to you know three man concepts or sometimes even two man concepts uh, in your passing game. Doug, you explain um, the lack of uh, movement on the trade deadline. You mentioned getting guys back from, from injury. How much do you look at, at that? Um, I mean, was that sort of your pitch to how we say, okay, I feel confident once we get these guys back that we'll be where we are? And you look at the first half of the season and think, okay, that's a significant reason why we are four and four. Yes. It's <laughs> a long question. Um, you know, it is something that we look at. We, we obviously the first eight games we had, we've, we've battled through injury, as you guys know, and um, you keep looking at that injury report, and I keep getting those updates, and, and guys are, you know, slowly coming back. And you know, we we got Darby full time last week, Jalen Mills, a couple weeks ago, and the secondary. You know, we're, again, you know, Timmy's been out there working. Deshaun's coming back. You know, guys like that 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 are working themselves. Avante's working himself back. Um, and, and so when you look at it and you look at where we are uh, the, and, and beginning, I guess, to get healthy, our buy is next week, um, you know, that, that, that plays a big part in it because we're, we are confident in the guys we have. And, you know, I, I just don't think you go and make a change just to change. I think you've got to continue to coach the players you have, um, knowing you got guys coming back. I mean, you know, Craven LeBlanc is still sitting there and working and guys like that. So very comfortable and confident with the roster and, and where we are. In your post game speech, you made a point of saying that you're home for a while now. As, as you looked at the schedule before the season, did you think if you could get past October that there was kind of, there were home games there to kind of build up? Yeah, I, I think when you get, when the schedule comes out, you, you always, you look at a couple of things, you know, your primetime games, obviously, and then, you know, you know you're going to play eight on the road and eight at home, but where are those eight road games? Uh, and then you look up and you got three on the road and who they are. And, and so I think, I think you're, you're right when you say, hey, you know, you, you look at the month of October and, and that was going to be a tough stretch for us. And, you know, we're still kind of in that. This is that tail end of that, you know, stretch. And, and um, these teams that we're playing um, are, are playoff caliber teams. And that's what happens when, when, when you're a good team the year before, you're going to get schedules like this. So, you know, you look at it and, and say, hey, if we can weather this storm. And there's like blocks, you know, and you try to break it up. You know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and so we're kind of at the end of that second quarter right now. And you know, um, it hasn't been what we expected or what we liked, but but at the same time, we've kind of weathered our storm, and and hopefully now, you know, we can we can make a push these these next uh, eight games. Hey, Doug, you, you mentioned Bobby coming out as, as a coach. You know, all the guys who maybe they're uh, maybe aren't there ready to play. Uh, how much is that? I think it's a medical thing. I, I think if they're available to play, they play. Um, I, I don't think you can you can wait. You know, uh, which is, every game's too important. You know, uh, to win and especially where we are at. You know, it, with our win loss record. So, uh, if they're able to play, um, play them. I, 
I think any time Deshaun's on the field, you know, defenses have to account for that, for that speed and, 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 and his receiving ability. Um, whether or not he's the primary, you know, on, on the route could be a different story. But, but I think, you know, the respect of, of what he gets defensively, you know, whether it takes two guys to defend him or if they're going to just put one guy on him. So, yeah, it, it definitely um, it helps us, I think, as an offense when he's on the field because um, he's such a dynamic guy, speed guy, and, and uh, a really good leader for our, for our young guys that are they're also playing at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome.